right, well, I have pre-fit the inlays into the voids. I haven't done any sanding or anything to them yet. I've just picked them off and put them in. I'm going to sand them a little bit on the edge and just put a slight bevel on the bottom. But right now, every piece seems to be fitting in pretty, pretty well. Um, this one does have a few issues with it. If you look carefully up here at the side, right through there, you'll see that there was a little bit of a chattering. Um, I think it was caused because of the grain pattern. I just kind of came off the template wall just a little bit there, so I might have a few gaps. But that's okay because part of building an inlay is covering up the gaps, and I'll show you how to fix that up in a second as well. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to quickly sand the bottom of each inlay piece, and then I think I'll be ready to glue them into place. Okay, now I'm going to pre-fit them all in just a little bit more. See if I need to do any more sanding. That one is fine. Now don't push this in too far because if I push this all the way in before I glue it, it's going to be a bear to get out. But here I left enough of a ridge on here that I can take my paint scraper and I can still pry it out. But I put it in far enough to know that I do not need to do any more sanding on that particular piece. This petite uh, piece is fine. This piece is fine. Yeah, this piece is a little, a little iffy. So I need to do just a little more sanding on this one. Uh, this one is fine. And this one is fine. So I just got to do a little sanding on one of them. And then I will glue it into place. Now that it's set in there, I'm just going to gently pack it in there. That takes care of one of them. I'm getting ready to cut out the inlays, but before I do that, you might notice that there's just a little bit of a ridge here on this inlay. Because of that, when I put the next template on here, it's not going to sit flatly on the base material, so it may shift during the routing process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this portion of the inlay down just a little bit so it's almost flush with the base material. Now I have to be very careful of my alignment marks here because if I erase my alignment marks, I'm going to have to redraw them. So what I'm going to do is also extend my alignment mark over the edge here and make sure this comes out a little further, extend this one over the edge here and bring this down a little further too so I don't erase it when I'm sanding. Yeah, I forgot to extend my alignment marks right after I said I was gonna do that too. Okay, my uh, alignment marks have been redrawn. I did a little sanding, so things are now much, much more flush. Not perfect, but they're, they're flush enough that the templates will sit flat and not move during the routing process. So now, I'm just going to start putting my double-sided tape down here, align my template using my alignment marks here, tape the template in place, and then I'm going to use the exact same procedure I used to cut these Coco Bolo pieces out. I'm going to cut the ornaments out as an inlay. 